YouTube family. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat in the words of ODB. Rest in peace, old dirty bastard. Memo 600 responds to the baby theatrics. Memo 600 wanted the world to know the absolutes won't be absolute. Now, the baby also responds back to Memo 600. Things start going left. Things start going right. You got little Dirk responding with encryptions and subliminals. You got 600 breezy in the mix. You even got a homage visit of words from Rondo number nine himself. Ladies and gentlemen, this NBA young boy versus everybody situation really done started World War Three during YouTube and slash music slash hip hop social media. It's a lot of folks picking sides in this and clearly Mimo is not backing down neither is the baby we're gonna speak about that situation i just want y'all to hit the like button notification bell and let's rock out salute gang Now, if you don't know, there's been a lot of back and forth in hip hop that's been going on. Back and forth that kind of circulated and took over. Grand caprice of things and, and taking our a, a own narrative itself if you don't stop the narrative and create the proper one. That's what's going on with the NBA Youngboy situation and the baby. Now, the baby deci decided to collaborate with young boy the louisiana native and that just did a lot of things nba young boy been up there with everybody everybody been up there with him and clearly nobody is backing down in this you had a lot of back and forths folks is clearly picking sides when it comes to this and a situation that we have is well memo 600 memo 600 came out here explaining why you feel me the one who's fouling the situation is the baby now the baby berates little dirk affiliate memo 600 after getting this on twitter what was that this well memo 600 told the baby can't blame the baby he thought that man was gonna save his career she's you know that man that Mimo 600 is referring to well he's referring to no other than nba young boy when he says what he says and that's some of the things that took uh, uh the rapper that's the baby north carolina native well he got mad and had his own responses in the situation and, and his responses no doubtly were being heard as social media went in a frenzy when he said what he said and, and some of these things was out of line, out of bounds, you could say. But some of the things that the baby wanted the people to know, we're going to read this together now. Get your glasses out. I'm, I'm, I'm in a good mix session of, of reading right now because the baby is a politician as well, as you guys probably are aware of that. The baby is going to say and do what he needs to do to get himself out of any false narrative situation that can harm his reputation. And this is what the baby said. I need y'all. Hang on. Let me get a better outlook for y'all so y'all can see this better on a better screen. Now, the baby responded to me more. Check, check this out. The baby said, Y'all towel boy as niggas. Funny as hell. Y'all on the internet playing, trying to run your stripes up while y'all big dog in my DM waving a white flag. Now, I don't know if he's saying Mimo 600 or somebody in Lil Dirk's groups of OTF tried to go behind the scenes on the DM and wave the white flag. And he put the eye emoji when he seen that. You feel me? Then he said, y'all niggas must not be on the same page over there at OTF. And he made sure to write OTF, which lets you furthermore know him and Ken Trell, a.k.a. NBA Youngboy, they discuss these guys individually. He said, y'all niggas must not be on the same page over there at OTF. But check this out. It ain't a gang, city, nigga, or neighborhood in the world scary enough to make baby pick and choose who to get money with, nigga. I ain't none of them. 
you niggas don't like it, do some. And we did see he wrote the same thing to Cowboy, do some. He said, I played it cool because y'all niggas want to make it about y'all partner. And I don't speak on the dead because I'm on the... I'm, I ain't on that for real. I'm, well, he said, I'm on that for real, for real. Every day, I ain't gonna lie. Reading this, it, it's like he digging a hole for himself. It sounds like the baby is really feeling like he going at all these guys for real. And he been felt that way because he said it himself. Now, let's continue. He said, you niggas do something, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's keep reading this. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna read this in Negro Dome. He said, so long live King Vaughn. Got my respect. He stood on business, no excuse. It was just another nigga there ready to stand on business too. That sound like shots being thrown at. It sound like you giving love to Lil' Tim right there, but we're gonna do a different video about that. Then he said, that's how we living. That's what gangster, ain't it? See, this man throwing subliminals and, and 38 hot disses at OTF in them. Then he said, but the rest of you whole ad nigga, internet niggas, trying to be cool off y'all boy name is some hoes. So he basically also calling them the water boys and all that. And they trying to get clout off of Vaughn, which is weird because if Stunner for Vegas would have died I'm pretty sure the baby Would have have his back in the same Way or similar fashion at least I would hope so I mean but Anyways I ain't think riding for your homeboy Cousin family friends is Clout chasing but let's continue He said that's how we live In this gangster ain't it he said It's the niggas y'all got around That ain't doing all that talking that y'all respect and still never fear, but you mascot ass niggas quit it. We are not the same, my boy. Ask your big dog. Now go call some real gangsters to step up for y'all pussy. I'm going to be right here waiting, ready to rock. Sheesh, I ain't going to lie to y'all. This right here is like he's throwing this is at Dirk. You feel me? I'm going to just keep it a stack with y'all. He's definitely coming at Mimo. You feel me? He's making sure people know he's riding with young boy, young boy. He's definitely clearly picking sides. And no matter what Cowboy said about him and his, you know, now deceased cousin, the great King Vaughn, he's definitely making it shown as an ultimatum of picking size and this is definitely what comes with it like I, I don't see anything different now he's using king von name as a way of saying he's respecting and he i don't take it for that i take it different i take the baby is literally trying to not be quiet anymore and he want people to understand he's gonna start standing on things you feel me like i really get the gist of things that the baby is really looking at it as look man no more quietness you heard what he said he's gonna baby been out of control lately y'all feel me baby been out here putting the pounds on motherfucking exes brothers and stuff at bowling alleys he's getting banishment everywhere so now you got a whole lot of chicago folks on your head my god and i'm just saying that honestly i'm not trying to you feel me make a different narrative and the thing still kept going back and forth Y'all probably thinking, well, it wasn't nothing else and everything was cool. But on top of that, 600 Breezy responded to the madness to DJ's Academics, a uh, post about the situation. 600 Breezy said, um, well, DJ Academics said, pray for Mimo 600. He's learning the same lesson many learned before. The baby don't give a fuck about nothing he ain't about to pick no sides he ain't about to be pressured or forced to and he's standing on it and you know 600 breezy you know he cut like that teflon don status you know he's a chicago nigga he gonna respond like a well like a chicago nigga 600 breezy come out the war and say pray for what he's 600 and he got the closed lip emoji because he's standing on business and you had more responses dirk being the subliminal master at best which i love dirk he plays the art of war tactics you got to respect dirk for that dirk said mm, what smirk voice <laughs> hey these these chicago dudes is cool as hell with the subliminal social media for like the last 15 years on twitter on instagram on facebook but then rondo number nine the the rpg rocket propel grenade launcher man himself responded he said they pretend like they wildin like they really savage about who put the numbers on the board and don't say what happened 
closed lips sheesh everybody is speaking on this and just when you think it was done things ain't stopped yet because little dirk posted something else after that he posted an encrypted picture of him and 21 savage and put at 21 savage i guess that was to show you ain't the only one who could do collaborations we're also out here so i guess i gotta collab with the home team since you collabing with young boy i mean it's only right it's only right and there's been a lot of tick for tax and this entire you feel me back and forth war however you want to call this and what's going on who's in tune with each other this drill movement is for real you better go ask new york bronx specifically because bronx been turning up but anyways this thing is about more than drill if you want me to keep it a stack with you it's about what you did to my homie what you did to my partner what you did to my road dog my blood 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 in blood out so a little bit tick for tax is kind of good if it's on wax if we kept it that way but folks in them are not keeping it that way folks in them wanted to be stamped it we are picking sides my g and we are outside we are riding and looking for what you call the ops nothing less and nothing more this is just the way it is now cowboy let you know about what it was everybody involved in this was telling you what it was even ken Trell himself has been out here basically stamping on ish letting people know who to not play with who to play with i mean this thing is not gonna stop anytime soon i just want people to understand the circumstances of this is gonna be more deeper than what it is now mimo responded against to this mimo let it be known this was his whole thoughts on the aftermath of the situation he said quote the loyalty ish watered down everybody got their own definition don't tell me about no other nigga i'ma stand on business goofy and and he seems like a dude who really meant it when he stamped on it we know about cowboy coming at the baby as well y'all like all right boom let it rock yeah von them this motherfuckers let it rock because we standing behind that we know this nigga in real life this our family for real so when a motherfucker, when a motherfucker say all this, oh, oh, I respect the nigga, but nigga ain't gonna stop me from nigga in the height of the in the height of the smoke, cuz in the height of the smoke, this is a perfect time to make you some money in the height of the smoke. You a fan ass nigga, bro. You's a fucking clown. Anybody don't see that? You a fucking clown too. I ain't gotta be fans of me. Nigga is a fucking clown. Nigga, same nigga ran around South by Southwest in a fucking diaper. Same nigga wear muscle suits and, 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 and man, put everything he do, nigga. I don't, I don't whoop niggas out at shows, all type of shit. I ain't posting shit. The streets will tell you. Whoever the fuck book me, whoever the fuck book me at NIU, whoever the fuck book me at uh, uh, the other motherfucking college, who nigga got, who nigga got y'all know we got that bitch rocking every big. time. Ain't nothing make the internet, cause we real steppers, bro. You think you could do this to me? Stop <laughs> me from going live, boy. This Instagram shit, this shit ain't shit without me. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. <laughs> you think you could do this to me? Stop <laughs> me from going live, boy. This Instagram shit, this shit ain't shit without me. I got a TED talk. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Like, this is documented. You know, I got a TED talk. I forgave my brother's killer. And I'm saying it to say this. Nigga that killed my brother. My, my brother died in my grandma's arms. In that fucking house that we grew up in. Nigga shot my brother. He ran to the fucking... He ran to the house. He died in Nanny Hall when she opened the door. So I'm telling you this some real shit, man. If, if I ain't let that shit go, I won't be right here today. I won't be here for my niece and my nephews. Me and Gil won't be doing this. Y'all won't know me. I won't be able to get y'all this game. But I had to leave, I had to let that shit go. And when I let that shit go, nigga, I started to grow. Like, this is documented. You know, I got a TED talk. I forgave my brother's killer. And I'm saying it to say this. Nigga that killed my brother, my, my brother died in my grandma's arms. In that fucking house that we grew up in. Nigga shot my brother, he ran to the fucking, he ran to the house. He died in Nanny Hall when she opened the door. 
So I'm telling you this some real shit, man. If, if I ain't let that shit go, I won't be right here today. I won't be here for my niece and my nephews. Me and Gil won't be doing this. Y'all won't know me. I won't be able to get y'all this game. <laughs>